Stage weaponry. We got sinks here. I hope I'm seeing that correct. Oh boy, the dead eyes guys clinging to a utility. We got uh, get a get a wuda uh, thr holding off at the ready here, just at the other end. He, oh, all he has is an MK12 to defend himself with. Luckily, his teammate Nova providing a little bit of Overwatch with an AK47, and another teammate Claw holding position with that Scar L. Ooh, Precious with this uh, CQC Annihilator, a UMP45. And look at this, Arabi. M249 at the ready. That LMG could be the difference maker between life and death, especially in an early stage altercation where he could have a 75 to 150 round clip. Well, a personal favorite of mine, uh, and I'm sure that all the viewers are going to cringe when I say it, but I love the VSS. Unfortunately, I will say the VSS, not the most ideal of snipers for Miramar, uh, especially not without an extended mag. When you can only have a 10-round clip in it, it's definitely not the ideal uh, choice for an early game altercation. But as we know, it's more so out of necessity than preference this early on. Well, Arabi holding position. He is just one floor below a member of the Dead Eyes guys. And yeah, he's got Yetta just above him. And if he knew what sort of uh, weaponry Yetta was working with, I think Arabi would have made the push upwards by now. Yetta, uh, uh, only with a MK-12 in hand, he's going to have to single tap to defend himself here. Oh, Arabi fires away at Claw, but outnumbered, outmanned, outgunned, and it was easy pickings. That's going to leave Sharp as the only hope here. His only remaining teammate, uh, Sazid, is a way too far away to help, and even so... Not a bullet to defend. Oh, my apologize. He had to get that reload and doesn't even matter because as he tries to fire outward, he is just sent right down to prone zone and right on back to lobby with a first class ticket. And just like that, Dead Eyes guys working their way up to their first four kills of the game. Just below half health and with no first aids to speak of. All he has are two boosts. And oh, luckily for him, the third party from the likes of High Voltage could have been his saving grace. But no, sir, because speaking of third party, is the king of the third party, Klauser of Dead Eyes. Even as a solo, just wrecking the entire playing field, securing his eighth elimination and getting his ninth knock here in place, this time on Satara. Goodness gracious, we have four teams remaining spread across seven people. But look at this, Klauser uh, finding himself in a battle against time. That zone is going to shift here any moment now. And now it's a battle of chance. And luckily for Klauser, Pub Jesus has shined his blessings down upon him and granted him the favor of the final zone. That is his saving grace potentially. But look at this. D9 putting a monster nade out and down goes X, Y, N. All right, we got D9, the last remaining member for Viking Astad. And this could be it. Oh, the nade taking him down to 15% health. One more nade crashes down on him. It could be the difference maker between life and death. He's going to try to retaliate with some nades of his own, but no knocks from that one. And this is a tough one to be in. He's got nothing to met up with. And it was just easy pickings for HV, a shooting star. Well, speaking of stars, we got another clan mate of the star crew, this time Tabby of the opposition, firing away uh, at multiple members of High Voltage who just outnumber him. He still does get the takedown on Sujandai, but Tabby and Claw in a 1v1 scenario. This, we've got a 1v1v1. Three teams remain spread across three people. It's a fair fight to end round three. How fitting. Every man for himself.
All right. As the Molotovs crash around Tabby, he says, I will not be your burning candle. But he chokes on his words as Klosser, doing what he does, the utility god that he is, just makes it rain hellfire on him. And now we've got a 1v1 to decide who wants the chicken dinner for round three the most. It's Klosser versus Star, Dead Eyes versus High Voltage. Let's get it. Sir, getting some good damage on to start taking him down to just above half health and finishing the job. Ladies and gentlemen, Klosser as a solo for a good portion of that end game, a very good portion of that end game, as a solo playing hyper aggressively and making the absolute most of positioning, getting so many third party eliminations and really being as efficient as he can with his bullets. That means he got as many eliminations as possible as a solo as he could. Look